God bless you, everyone. My name is Dave from the Resurrection Center, and you've been hearing us talk about uh, emergency preparation. Um, certainly, we've been through a disaster already, just the pandemic itself. But you've also seen certain restrictions in the grocery store, for example, toilet paper and other supplies. That's already happening. You're also noticing that the prices of certain goods have gone up as well. Well, what we do at the Resurrection Center is we don't want to scare you. We want to prepare you in the event of any type of disaster. And so um, it is not only the Resurrection Center, it is also the state of Massachusetts, as well as uh, the city of Springfield, Massachusetts. Let me show you something. I have on your screen here is a proclamation from Governor Charlie Baker, and I'll read just a small portion of it. Whereas all residents of the Commonwealth are encouraged to participate in preparedness activities and use the preparedness resources at www.mass.gov forward slash ready. And then he continues to say, now therefore I, Charles D. Baker, governor of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, do hereby proclaim September 2021 to be emergency preparedness month. So that's from the state level. Let's go to the city level. And this is a proclamation from uh, Dominic Sarno, the mayor of Springfield. And uh, I'll just read a portion of it here. And it says, whereas being prepared is the responsibility of every citizen in Springfield. Today, Friday, September 3rd, 2021, is the city of Springfield and the Department of Health and Human Services want to promote awareness for national preparedness. Therefore, I, Dominic J. Sarno, mayor of the city of Springfield, do hereby proclaim September 2021 as National Prepared Preparedness Month. Um, and so our government leaders are telling us in advance to be prepared. Um, to be simply prepared, all you have to do is to keep it simple, make it affordable, and build over time. Now, I've put on your screen just a basic list, and this is from FEMA. Uh, this is the Federal Emergency Management Agency that will give us all the information we need. And here's one piece, the emergency kit checklist. One of the things they're talking about is to stock up. The key word is stock up. A lot of it has to do with food. A lot of it has to do with cash. A lot of it has to do with water. Um, three days of non-perishable, non-cooked food. Uh, water, which is one gallon per day per person in the household. Medication that you may need. Uh, flashlights, of course, all the batteries you need. Uh, certainly a an, a battery operated radio for communication on emergency news, all kinds of extra batteries, uh, certainly a first aid kit. Um, I told you before about cash. You want to have a cell phone and charger. You can charge your uh, cell phone in your car if you need to. Make sure you have a copy of ID cards and information, uh, your doctor contact, uh, all the meds, allergy information. Um, all the contact with your family and friends, uh, you know, even the basic uh, sanitary necessities like toothbrush, toothpaste, blanket, washcloth. Uh, don't forget your pets. Don't forget about the children, clothes and baby or pet supplies if you need them. Uh, so be prepared with all of these things. Uh, you can learn more at mass.gov forward slash ready. Or you can also look at mass.gov forward slash MEMA forward slash ready. Be prepared and be organized. The big message is, is to stock up water, medicine, food, um, data such as your doctor information, allergy information, uh, have cash on hand in case ATMs and debit cards and credit cards no longer work. Uh, be prepared for that. So just have a, a lot of cash 
on hand uh, so that you're prepared in the event of a disaster. Uh, take time to look at this video again so you see the list um, and be prepared in the event of a disaster. My name is David. Thank you for watching.